Hello, my name is Brendan, and my character's name is Dorin Duskholm. He is a dwarf, so he's a cleric of the Twilight Order. When you look at Dorin, he is a little bit on the big side for a dwarf, so he's around five foot tall, but he's not big and stocky like you imagine other mountain dwarves. He is rather more lean and wiry, but you can see this kind of strength underneath that as well. The first thing you notice about Durin is his shock of red brown hair. And he also has a big bushy red beard kind of down to his navel. When Durin looks at you, he has a very kind of smoldering intensity. He wears armor as befitting his station as a dusk knight. He is drawn to protect others. Hello, I'm Scott. My character is Avery Duma. He is, well, he's a bit of a, a bit of a wheeler dealer, a bit of a, a bit of a scoundrel, because actually, he's to a degree undead. We were, we were lying there in our coffin, and some maniac called Godfrey ripped me out from the ground. A bit of a mad night for me, to be honest, one of many to follow. Dumont, he's uh, about six foot tall, blonde as you can expect, a <laughs> short beard. Uh, he wears an eye patch over his eye, concealing this sort of um, misty, undeathly seeing orifice. Hello, my name is Morris, that's all you're getting. I am Magister and Professor Gottfried Bau. My character is a, a man probably in his 60s, a thin, gaunt body, rather lost in elaborate robes of some obscure office. Uh, his very serious expression uh, fending off all oncomers on his face. I am one of the former scholars of Renier, my leading authority in. Uh, the arcane, metaphysics, theology, philology, etc., etc. <sighs> yeah, okay, I think that's it. Uh, I am going to have a cup of coffee. Hello, I'm Grace Kelly Miller and I'm playing Georgina Flock, also known as George or Georgie by her friends. And she's a broad, muscular, strong woman in her early 30s. She's 5'11", though appears six foot with her dirty blonde and gray hair piled up in plaits on top of her head. She wears a jumbled mix of humble country clothing with moments of knitwear, all topped off with a very fine cream doublet. Overall, she has the look of someone who has has been on quite the bender or rager as she's a barbarian. Yet despite this rough around the edges look, her gray eyes seem to sparkle with a zest for life. Hello, my name is Guy and I'm gonna be the dungeon master for this game. We're gonna be playing fifth edition set in my homebrew world of Braxia. Now, if you wanna learn more about Braxia, you can head on over to our patreon.com forward slash great game master where you will find the monthly releases of the world setting for you to use in your own games. Many of our players have got some cool things going on in their world, support them by finding that information in the links down below. And remember, if you enjoy this actual play, hit that like button or let us know in the comments down below. Finally, before we get into it, every Monday we release videos on how to GM. Every Friday these actual plays will be coming through and then occasionally at your request I will do review videos of how I think the sessions went, what I did right, what I did wrong and how I am trying to fix things if I need to. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see more of that as well. And so, I now invite you to join me and my wonderful players in the Duskmorn Chronicles. Hello and welcome to this very first play of our live play called the Duskmorn Chronicles. I've got some amazing players that you've already met because that's the magic of editing. And we're going to jump straight into playing this game. But just in case you skip the opening, um, very, very quickly we will go around the table just to remind people of who is whom, etc, etc. I also have their names written down here, so you really have no excuse. Anyway, starting on my left, we have Dorin Duskholm. He is a dwarf of the yes. Twilight Cleric variety. Excellent. Next to him, uh, Professor Gottfried Bauch, Wilhelm Friedrich Schopenhauer, uh, Wizard <laughs> Order of the Scribes. Yeah. I did not write down his full name in the book because the book is not that big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> there we have Avery Duma, College of the Spirits Bard by Train, Exorcist by Nature, or something like that. So you leave a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 
<laughs> and then Georgina Flock, human barbarian of the wild magic variety. Exactly. And so we start our campaign in the world of Braxia, and unbeknownst to my players, I have asked them all to create level 15 versions of their characters who will be starting at level 5. Is level 5? Five? Five? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. So we now skip 20 years into the future from their level 5 <laughs> characters. <laughs> Surprise! Oh and you will now be using your level 15 characters very, very briefly as we now cast our gaze upon the ruins of the once great citadel of Howden Lee. Everything is on fire. It is all burning. Our intrepid heroes, who have been battling to get to the Citadel, have journeyed this far as part of the King's Honor Guard with a singular purpose. There is a force of darkness and shadow that has taken control of most of Braxia, as a matter of fact, and has been fighting against our heroes for the past decade. How and where this creature came from, well, that's a mystery that we'll learn in due course. Its name is Balkor Sung. And Balkor Sung has certain powers, unfathomable powers. And I dropped my pen. <laughs> powers of darkness, powers of life, powers of death, all sorts of powers. Belkor Sung has been a thorn in the side of everybody and has now got to the point where the entire space is on fire. You find yourselves approaching and so if you can put all of your minis just over here that would be perfect. We have these lovely miniatures. I will have my miniatures and the king is fighting with you. He has been wounded. You know him as King Alexander Theogard. He is the uh, king of southern Brunei and at the moment the king of all Brunei as the high king was slain many, many, many years ago. Um, and standing before you is Belkor Sung. He is preparing to complete an incantation which appears to be warping reality. It's shifting and it's unclear as to what is real and what is not real, where uh, various, yeah, various realities seem to be conjoining. Now the entire, entire purpose, the entire goal of King Theogod and his protectors is very simple destroy Belkor Sung at all costs, for he is about to do something horrific. Belkor Sung by this stage has grown in immense size and so stands towering above all of you here as the giant lich undead being that he is. Oh. And uh, yes, that is not your immediate concern. Uh, let me place the king down for you. The king is with you. We're going to put him in the middle there. Let's say that's him for now. That is not your immediate concern. Your immediate concern are the four riders. These are undead centaurs Ooh. that have been converted Ooh. by Belcor to do his bidding. Horrific Ooh. creatures. Gorgeous. <laughs> These are the dark horsemen um, that have been plaguing you all. That is the scene. Smoke burns. There are screaming voices here and there. There are undead roaming the entire rest of the city, consuming what little of the population remains. Can I have initiative from everyone? Please? Holy shit. Oh, yes. Ooh. <clears throat> So your initiative Ooh. is your proficiency, isn't it? No, no? Dex. Dex. that's my dex. Dex. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to imagine what mine will be at fifth level fifteen. <laughs> I'll just go with the bar I've got. Yeah. Yeah. When you're a barb, you'll have advantage, probably. Yeah. Great, I'll do that. Uh, that. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, trying to get to grips with the level 15 mechanics, yeah. which I'd yeah. to right there. Get, get up to, you know, as yeah. opposed to launching Hello. straight into the beginning. Right in, no problem. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't do my character at level 15, so I'm, <laughs> I'm approximating, because uh, barbarians don't do their homework, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad barbarian. He's a bad barbarian. <laughs> All right. Two uh, mm. different you could have my okay. level seventeen. Well, magic power. Sure. I'm going to play it. Yeah. Two hundred and twelve hit points. Amazing. And you're, I'm using your figurine. Is it that exactly. for this character already? That is for yes. this character. Yeah. Yeah. It even has a custom wild magic table there for you if you want to use oh, it. Oh, hell yeah! Live, so I can help you with that. You are the right person to be playing D&D with. <laughs> but you have to be a cockney rhyming slang. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, she's, 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 she's changed yeah. accents in and, the future. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Went to this is true school. resurrection, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've turned into a half-orc geezer. Half -orc geezer. Oh, geezer. <laughs> That's on the table somewhere, I think. Somewhere. Oh, I'm a geezer. Yeah. I'm a geezer. <laughs> okay, so with regards to initiative, Georgina, what did you get? Uh, as I've changed it to your initiative, that will be a 16. 16. Okay, Gottfried. 19. 19, even better. Avery. 19 also. <laughs> oh, what's your dexterity? Uh, plus zero. What's your dexterity? Uh, plus four, I think. Mm -hmm. there. And Dorian? 21. You see? Fast bugger. Okay, uh, the bad guys are going on. <laughs> Jesus. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> Frightened by the DM's dice. So this is yes. first. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sure. So left to right, basically, is uh, the initiative there. They're all going to act the same one because I'm not insane. <laughs> Further down. Okay. And because unfortunately. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. You know who I have left out here. Uh, Belcor Sung is also not going very fast at all. Now, the king. And this is known only to the four of you, and if Belcor discovers this, possibly could mean the end of the world. Uh, the king has a sword. It is known as the Life and Song sword. Mm -hmm. And only a true king can wield the Life and Song. And he has that. This is capable of extinguishing all life. Um, just in general. So if it's not used properly, <laughs> just, you know, just in general. Yeah, yeah, I mean, most swords do that. You they do you mean a toothpick? I mean, they do, yes. But this yeah. one in particular, the king can just point it at you and uh, you die. Oh. Yes. This mm. is the reason why it's meant, it's, it's basically just the king. A whole moves. step less than, than a regular sword. You yes. Point and then thrust. It's mm. more efficient. At least that's what the wizards claimed when they designed it. Uh -huh. um, Got, we gotta get that. Yes. It's also <laughs> kept under lock and key in a vault somewhere because when you are knighting, you don't want to use the wrong sword. <laughs> uh, the king. Right. Ooh. He's not bad, but still last. So all the NPCs get to do their thing and then you guys get to act, which is wonderful. So, Dorian, what are you doing? Dorian is gonna shout, Protect the king! And he's gonna cast his. He's gonna basically pull in the twilight from around the air, kind of weaving it into this twilight sanctuary, which extends for 30 feet around him, I believe, at level 15. Correct. Right. This is the first time I'm using it at level 15, so um, <laughs> correct me if I get that a little bit wrong. 30 feet of twilight emanates from around Doran Duskhelm, and everyone in that aura gets uh, 19 temporary hit points off the bat. Cool. And how Guy and I agreed this is going to work, that basically you have to lose all of those temp HP before you can benefit from the, the, the temp HP again, right? Because mm -hmm. at the beginning of every turn, mm -hmm. you can regain that temp okay. HP um, if you want to. How so much was that again? 19. 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that's his action. And then as his bonus action, he's going to cast uh, a sixth level spiritual weapon. And he's going to essentially, uh, if my 
massive spiritual weapon here. It's gonna pop down, oh, yeah, pop down good, over here. Here's a little spiritual weapon. A little spiritual weapon is gonna take a crack at this this one here right now. Okay, okay. Nice. which is a twenty-five to hit. Jesus, twenty-five. It hits. Okay, and it's gonna do uh, fifteen points of damagios. Nice, and that's. Divine? What uh, type of damage is it? Yeah, it can be divine or... Yeah, no, it's divine? Well, we got the spiritual Spectre, weapon. Sp uh, yeah, spiritual weapon. I feel it's force. Or force? Force. Yeah. force. 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 Alright, 25 you say? No, I said... Uh, 25 to hit. 20, 25 to hit and then 18, 18. damage. My apologies. Yeah. Alright, 18 damage it is. What does your spiritual weapon look like? Uh, great question. Yeah, it looks like a, a double-handed mace. So at one end of the mace, it is a kind of crescent moon shape, mm -hmm. and at the other end is a flaming, flaming sun, and it kind of twirls a little bit. Oh, that's very cool. As it kind of goes out from Doran. Lovely. Yeah. Slams into Lord Farm, who uh, doesn't seem to be too happy about that. Anything else, Doran? No, I'm going to stay there in this kind of... I'll move up a tiny bit. Yep. As a bulwark against the other characters. Right, you are. And um, keep everyone in, in my 12th century. Evening! I'm gonna run up behind my big strong friend, point uh, my crystal ball towards this scary looking fella. Lord Farm. Lord Farm. And I'm gonna cast Disintegrate. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dexterity 17 Stepping save. On my toes, man. <laughs> Dexterity 17. Oh, oh! Decimated the ball! No, 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 no. When the DM knocks everyone over, you get inspiration. Oh, God. <laughs> you get inspiration. Thank you. You get inspiration. Uh, and you get inspiration. Hey. Because wow. I failed. Wow. Um, so, dexterity of? So, uh, was 17. 17. Yes. All right, dexterity of 17. He rolls an 11 plus. Stuff. He fails. All right, nice. I'm not going to roll 16. <laughs> D6 and add Why? 40. Why not? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't make me do that kind of math. I've got 16 D6 somewhere. <laughs> uh, that was 105 damage. 105 <laughs> damage. Some bullshit. Holy <laughs> plus 40 it was, so yeah. Disintegrate. It was 16 D6 plus 40. No, 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 that's fine. I'm just trying to remember. I think yeah. it was Circle of Death that doesn't affect Undead. Uh, disintegrate it. So 100. It does is it necrotic damage, is it, or what is kind of damage? Disintegrate. Yeah. Uh, good question. Good, good question. question. One, two. It's in the air somewhere. Lord Farm, as your spell slams into him, although he is a giant undead centaur, bits of bone turn to dust, and there is this smell of burning hair that fills <laughs> this area over and above the choking smoke that is billowing around everywhere. But he does not look good at all. Um, mm. The the magic that binds the bones together is sort of flickering, and so there's a lurching starting to happen to dear Lord Fan. So my opening gambit with my extended hand, my smile turns a bit into a, oh, <laughs> he's still up. <laughs> he's still standing. Okay. Yes. Uh, Gottfried. Now you said that this is 20 years on from our... Yes. Just level guys. Correct. So Gottfried is now 80. 80 more. <laughs> I am here in spirit. <laughs> so just, you know, uh, you're, you're asking a lot of a man who should really have retired at this point. So um, <clears throat> Gottfried will um, produce his huge tome. I think I have something for this. I can't remember. Uh, give me a moment, please, everyone. Uh, and eventually he will cast Banishment on this guy here. Ah. <clears throat> I don't think you should be high. I think you should go home. <laughs> That's a good boy. Go home. So he has to make a uh, wisdom saving throw, I believe, and the DC is 19. Let me just check that it is wisdom. <laughs> uh, quickly. There we go. <clears throat> it is, in fact, a charisma saving throw. <laughs> is he charming? No. No. <laughs> Lord Pestos was not charming in life or in death. Very good. Nope. Bye -bye. Bye. Where does he go to? I think he should go to. Uh, actually, he goes to uh, whatever his native plane is, and yes. if this is his native plane, yes. then a harmless demi plane. 
All right. Otherwise, he goes home. And he's in a demi-plane for a minute? Uh, for a it? minute, as long as I concentrate. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. All right. So, so he will be back, folks. Right. Mm. OK. So he is 10 rounds for concentration. OK. Hurt the little old man. <laughs> right. That is Godfrey. Are you doing anything else? Oh, I think I've, 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 um, I can't, uh, I, I can't think of anything at the moment. Have a sleep, Godfrey. Ah, uh, thank you. Georgina. <laughs> right, so I'm assuming this is your uh, yes, that's wild mine. magic. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. Uh, as a bonus action, I'd like to rage, please. Yeah. <laughs> roll, uh, roll the d8 twice. Oh, you know, twice? Yes. At this level, you can choose from either roll. Oh, it's exciting at the Ooh. top, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay, we've got a... Um, Life and death breath, uh, she can exhale shadowy tentrils that lash around me, wrapping around the necks of creatures of my choice, Mm -hmm. and I can see within XX feet. Don't worry, but this one is necrotic damage, so I probably wouldn't choose that one. Okay. Uh, The other one is number uh, number seven, rats and mice. Special rats and vermin temporarily crawl along the ground beneath Monty's, well, uh, Georgina's feet, gnashing and clawing at enemies' feet until the rage ends. Okay, so they're getting lots of little rat bites on their feet. And they have uh, basically um, difficult terrain. Nice. So if you get hit as a reaction, you can re-roll and choose different ones again. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah, they've got difficult terrain, and um, that's just around you, right? It's twenty foot or thirty oh, foot radius okay. around, so around, 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 around. I am running in as far as I can. You get sixty so, foot. Sixty feet at this yeah. point. So mm-hmm. are these each five? Yes. Um, you will you'll make it. Up. You'll make it. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to work. Okay. You, you'll get it. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm gonna get Georgina's flail, as I hope she's he- held on to her the duster of doom all these years. <laughs> And that is 10 plus 7, 17. 17. Lord Pham, in his erratic movement, sweeps his scythe to the left, blocking yours out. Oh, how rude. Well, I'm going to swing it around the head, and I'm coming in right at the knees of those centauri ways. Uh, that is 16 plus 7. Ah. Whatever that is. 23. Thank you. <laughs> Do not leave the mask. <laughs> so the wizard just wakes up for a second. Uh, it's 23. <laughs> 23. <laughs> 23 is a hit. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So that is one. Ooh, D8. Oh, that's mm. a three. Mm. Plus four. That's seven. seven. Plus my rage plus bonus four. at this oh, point. that's going to be a lot. Four. Yeah. I think it's four, yeah. So, eleven, I think. Eleven. Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you slam into him. This time you take out one of his legs, so it's just on three legs, but he still seems to be fairly mobile, just looking incredibly damaged at this point in time. Are you doing anything else? You've moved, you've attacked, you've got anything else? That saying? is it. Oh, good. King Theogod looks at everybody and says, I must stop this evil. Um, keep up the good work. Uh, <laughs> so he is running around the side and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. He is now up here and he's five feet away from him. So um, unfortunately he has 15 foot reach. So that's fine. The king is engaged. Uh, king dashes. Belcor Sung. Looks directly at you, <laughs> and uh, you get a sense that someone or something is trying to enter your mind. Do you w- willingly allow it in or not? <laughs> you know what? No. No, I don't let that happen. Okay, then give me a wisdom save. Oh, I do have a... That's a nat 20. Holy Oy! First one of the campaign! <laughs> That is a fuck you to this dude. Just keep doing that. Plus, <laughs> yeah, please keep doing that. Stuff. Be great. Plus some stuff. Okay. All right. Sure. Fine. Okay. So <laughs> this <laughs> thing is trying to get into your mind, and you just close down. You push back. He. It's difficult to tell whether he smiles or not. He doesn't have any lips left, so it's just teeth. But his body posture seems to think that he's pretty confident about what's going on. And so he lifts up his staff, and as he does, in the head of the staff, there manifests a whole bunch of faces 
of humans, elves, dwarves, and he seems to, as he swings the staff forward, he seems to pull them out of whatever plane of existence they're in, pulling them into the real world. And he throws these writhing spiritual bodies and it lands right on the cleric, uh, cleric mm. right in the middle, and it's going to hit everybody. Oh, because you all stayed together quite nicely. Oh, you are. I'm not in it. Cheers. You're not in it. You're out of it, right? I'm over there. There you go. No, no, no. It hits oh. you because you're only ten feet away. And so yeah. Well, worth it's, a try. It, worth a try. <laughs> worth a try. Yeah, the Ooh. prince is not. Yeah, they're not the prince. The king is not in it. So that's all good. Uh, yes. Yeah, so everybody within that circle, I need you all, please, to make constitution saving throws. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have any oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. I think I might have failed it. Oh, I'm going to use my uh, oh, inspiration. Yes. I think it's there. That's yeah, you can use your inspiration point. to yeah, roll yeah, 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 yes, yeah, thank you. Well. <laughs> okay, that's better. If you're using your inspiration, the Fetterman needs his coin. Oh, that wasn't much better. <laughs> that was yeah. much better for me. You. Here. You're plus 10, I think. To call it. Um, hmm, very nice. Okay. So like, can, I just, can we yeah. just carry on playing at this level? Yeah, this yeah. is nice. Yeah. I, I like it. I like, like it. I like yeah. this level. I can this do great. anything. I'm a I'm, god. Yeah. That's very really cool about being 81, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> they used to actually, there probably are still rules on what negatives you'd get physically. Yeah, there used to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Negatives yeah. to strength, dex, and con, and positives to intelligence. If I have a negative to my strength, I may not be able to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the rules have been applied. The motor is. I don't understand. I'm a sign of it. The law is not a law of gravity, it's a law of the book. <laughs> anyway. Uh, right, so. Filthy 20. Filthy 20. A 19. 19. A 7. <laughs> Which was better than my previous four. This is true. <laughs> You know, 27. 27. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. It's <laughs> 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 a little flex. It's a barbarian, Ooh. right? Ooh. So, so that's what we expect. Yeah. Um, okay, so. What works? Right. It's not snowing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doors right these, there. These 20 years we've <laughs> spent together. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Second of it, but no. <laughs> I'm sure we had some wonderful times. <laughs> All right. We call you a cab. We can call you a cab. <laughs> Highs and lows. So that's. If it's been 20 years, my daughter should be able to drive me by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool one. 48. So the three of you take 48 points of damage, Jeez. and you take 24. As unless you're immune to uh, necrotic damage mm -hmm. or have some kind of no. ability to avoid poisons. that. Nope. So this wave of necrosis washes over you as these spirits they try and climb inside of you. Oh, so it sort of feels like your chests are being pulled apart slightly as these fingers are being pushed in into lungs, into heart, making it difficult to breathe, difficult to focus. But then the spell ends and they drift back to whatever hellish domain they have been pulled from. Coughing on the floor, going, I didn't even buy me dinner first! <laughs> <laughs> Is it 44? Yes. 40, 48. 48. 48. Yes. Uh, so he does that. And once he is done with that, you notice that he has inscribed a ritual circle around himself. And one of the six sigils illuminates. So oh, I, need I think that you. might be round counter. Yes, I think it might be. I'm not used to being this level with so many options. Yeah, I've got too ridiculous. many options. Yeah. I can do everything. Oh, there they are. There. Wouldn't you pass me that box there? Yeah, yes. crystals. Yeah, yeah, we'll just use those as our counters. Perfect. All right. Uh, thank you. So yes. So the first symbol. I'm just going to line them up here. Illuminates. Ooh. It's like the crystal maze. <laughs> That's him! Please. Please. Warrock, the bully. Warrock, the bully goes after the king. So he's going to come in and just attack the king twice. And I always hate NPC on NPC action because I'm literally just playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. And they both rolled a five and a one and an 11 and a six. So they're literally just screwing around with each other. Nothing is happening there. That is Warwick. Mm -hmm. Discharges straight forward. And so oh. he is going to hit straight into the cleric. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, your, your armor class is ridiculous, right? Well, at level 15, yeah. you know. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it should, should be high. high level five. Yeah, yeah true. Um, all right, so he comes slicing in with that massive scythe of his, and that's not oh, going to hit okay. you. Blocks him with the shield. Absolutely. Uh, that's a nine, so that would be 24. How much does he have plus? A lot. A lot. Well, yes. that hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. The numbers don't seem so cool when you, you know, yeah. they're balanced yeah. out by this bullshit. So the scythe buries itself into you for 12 plus 5, 17 points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just, that's what he does. Um, and so that is him done. He is out and about because you are concentrating on him. Lord Farm is next, and that would be you. He is attacking Me, you. Yes. yes. He is not charging, so things change. He attacks you once. Hits. Oh, well, that's not. Yeah, that hits. That's, that's going to hit you lots. I'm um, going to roll a second attack as he swings back with the scythe, and that is only 18. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, uh, meets it, beats it. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. All right. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You quartered this or whatever it is. So that's. 19 plus, these are really good rolls. Oh, <laughs> and then four. Uh, 19 plus nine is 28 damage. 28 and I'm halving it. raging, so that's halving it. Yeah, so cool. cool. And is it necrotic damage as well? No, this is, no. well, it's magical damage because okay. the scythe are magical, yep. but that's it. Point of order. Yes, but um, I took damage. So I need to make a concentration saving throw. Oh, yes, oh, you did. certain gentlemen That's might right. return. Well, you took 48 points of damage, so you yeah, need so to make a concentration of 24. 24. <laughs> no problem. Oh, <laughs> no problem. Don't worry about it. It's that. okay. You can I think that. I can do it. You can. I believe in you. I've got advantage because I've got the warm edge feet. All right. Um, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. He's back. Oh. He's back. Oh. All right, that's fine. <laughs> However, uh, because you raised that point of order, he's only going to come back next round. Oh. Uh, because I should have raised it. So there you go. Oh. Uh, right, so that is, that's my people done. Back to top of the round, Lord Dorian. Dorian. Protect the king! Dorian, Dorian, Dorian. is going to shout. Yes. And I'm not going to leave you, don't worry. <laughs> who, uh, who is speaking? But, <laughs> 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 Meet so, me, I'm surrounded um, by... Okay, so just a point of order, remember, if you get, uh, at the beginning of your, of your turn, if you need it, you can get oh, 19 you temporary yeah. hit points back. Okay. Oh! If you're yeah, in the right used 30 them. feet, so yeah. you can use them. Ooh, that's exciting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like scooch over here a little bit. So staying within range, no opportunity yeah. attacks. Yeah. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna cast uh spirit guardians. Oh, spirit oh, yeah, guardians. At Don't level cast that shit. Don't exactly. cast that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna cast it at level what is this? Level five? Spirit Guardians level five. Unless anyone could have counter spell me. No? So no, no one is going to counter spell you. So first of all, bonus bonus attack against against a yep. famine guy. Absolutely. Oh, God, there's so much to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> welcome to level fifteen, where the yeah. first three hours is round one. <gasps> yeah. Uh, so it's a plus six to hit. So only a uh, yeah, that's not going to hit. No. Uh, Twelve. No. no. Um, and then I need these two these two chunky boys yes. to make wisdom saves, please. That's Lord Farm and Lord Dis. Okay. 16 is the number. One passes. Oh. That's Lord Farm. Lord Dis, the one in front of our uh, bard now. Uh, uh, wisdom? Wisdom. Uh, plus four, four, 15. 16 is the number. Uh, failed. So, so one pass, one fail. So one of them takes 5d8 radiant. Yes. Which is only 16, and the other one takes 8. Right. It's a poor roll. Nah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What did I do that for? Okay. Brilliant. Hey, Avery. Uh, I'm going to return the favour. I'm going to flip him the bird and cast <laughs> Hold Monster. That's oh, no need to be wrought. Valkor Sung? Yes, I'm going to try it. Look at that eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the eyebrow. Wisdom that's 17. <laughs> nope. Belcor's son. Well, wisdom save. Let's see. Um, he would have failed that one, so instead he's going to pass it. Yeah. Yeah. Put that eyebrow down. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back there, man. It was worth a shot. 
It was. It indeed. was indeed. Yes. Uh, and then uh, that's pretty much what I can do because everything's going to spank me. Get your nineteen tap in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll move over there. It's still within range. So. Yes, that's right. He threatens basically half the map, basically. Uh, maybe over there then. Yep. Still within range. Uh, get some hit. I in range of both of them though. Uh, what are you going to do? In for a penny. <laughs> All right, so you get your temp hit points back. Gottfried. Finding um, himself a little bit alone. Uh, oh, no. Where has everybody gone? Um, sir. <laughs> it's not looking, he's even looking at the battle. I mean, I'm not even looking at the battle. <laughs> yeah. He's looking at the going, where did I put my spell focus? I can't remember. <laughs> um, oh, man. So, uh, since my concentration on one thing has been broken, mm. I think I'm going to try to put a hypnotic pattern to catch those two boyos there. Right. It's a 30 foot square, so I want to get yes. the center. You know what I mean? That's Just fine. catch those in the corner. Um, so they're going to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, DC 19. All right. Lord uh, Farm first. Mm -hmm. Fails. He is incapacitated, charmed. Does his immune to charm? Uh, he can't be charmed. But he, he, can can be, he can't be charmed, but he can be incapacitated. Okay. Um, or is it part of the effect? Uh, okay, so what we're seeing is a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air. Yes. Um, it appears for a moment and vanishes each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make it with some saving throw on a fail save. The cre creature becomes charmed for the duration ah. while charmed by the spell. So if he's immune to charm. He's immune to charm. Unfortunately, yes. Well, well oh, so shit. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely idea. Mm hmm. All right, uh, Georgina. Okie dokie, I'm right there, so I'm gonna go in with my flail again. Oh, natural 20, yeah. that's 27. Yeah. Nice. You get brutal, oh. brutal, critical, and all yeah, yeah. sorts of various things. So if what you, is this? Can, I, can you give me my pages and I'll show Please you? Please do. You get Lots of dice are coming. I prefer the term brutical. Brutical? Brutical damage. Brutical critical. Brutical critical. Where the hell is it? You basically get five, here it is. <laughs> Get five hundred double damage, savage attack plus three times brutal crit critical. <laughs> <laughs> so you get five five times the damage dice plus ten. Five times the damage dice plus ten. Yes. Okay. So my damage dice is a D eight. Five D eight plus ten. Anybody got some spare D eights I wanna yeah. throw my way? I think oh there we oh. go, five D eights. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh. come on. Chunky. Chunky. Okay, five plus five, that's ten, plus six, sixteen, uh, plus three, that's nineteen, plus uh, seven, that is twenty-six, plus ten, thirty-six. Yay! 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 So at this point, uh, Godfrey will come over and put a little gold star. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, yeah, good, well done. Cheers. Thirty-six. And then slightly fainted oh. back. Fuck him up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Mm. Uh, and you get to do it again. Well, oh, do, do, hopefully. I have to do it again then. Yeah. This takes out his other leg. Yes. So he crashes to the ground, but he's still swinging wildly. Oh, okay. Well, I want to put an end to this swinging. Uh, that is a uh, 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 26 to hit. That's a hit. Whee! Um, I don't suppose 19 counts as a critical with this. No, no that's champion. fine. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I'll just roll my 1d8. Oh, but that's eight. an 8. Nice. <laughs> this is why I like rolling. Uh, that is a um, plus 4. So that is uh, plus my. That's 15. Plus my rage damage. I forgot my rage damage. Oh, but that was included. That was included. That was included. Yeah. 15. Uh, so. Hey, you got your strength bonus as well, though, right? I think that's the plus four, isn't it? And then the rage damage on top of that. Yeah, so but I'd, I'd already added the plus so four I, in my head. No, okay. that's all right, Darth, it's going to check with me. I was going to take the gold star off you, but it's okay. <laughs> my gold star! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are bashing away and you break his spine. Ooh! But the corpse is still moving. Barely, but still. Just stay mm. down when you're meant to. Fear God and the bad guy, um, Warrock, are busy battling each other. And so the king is going to be the black dice. The king is doing better than... So the king is going to get up to here. And the king is going to take some damage. I'm not going to roll the damage because it's just silly. 
So the king is wounded. Oh, let's just do that. But so is Warwick. All right. Unless you all want me to roll out the damage. No, no, to no, no, no. Very cool. No, no. I mean, it's okay. we could. So we right. could do that. But we can skip it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, Belcor Sung. Once again, our dear bard. Something is probing at the corner of your mind. All right. Let's let it happen. You letting him in? Yeah, go on in. What? All right. The whole battlefield just vanishes. And it's just you standing in this black space. And this very handsome man, probably in his mid-thirties, um, quite chiseled features, wearing very luxurious robes, comes walking over to you. And from memory or a painting or something, you recognize this as Belcour Sung when he was alive. And he looks at you and he says, Brother, surely you should join us rather than continue to play with these constructs of flesh. Death is no stranger to you. As generous as that offer sounds, I'll have to graciously decline. Because of some ridiculous devotion to those beings down there. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> if I cannot appeal to your physical and spiritual or mental, perhaps then I could ask what it is that you want. Oh, well, now, <laughs> I didn't realize we we're putting offers on the table. Well, I'd have to think about it, but it's not really time for that. What have I restored you to your original form? Hmm. All the memories last reclaimed. You're touching on a bit of a nerve there. But again, for the sake of my friends, I'll have to decline. What if I could tell you who killed you? Oh. Now, what is it that you'd want from me? Nothing much. Just prevent the king from stopping me. And that's all I say. You are suddenly back on the battlefield with the smell of smoke swirling around you. Meanwhile, Belcor is focusing all of his attacks on the king and is firing these black beams of pure necrotic energy at the king. And the king is using all of his abilities to uh, sort of try and prevent these beams from hitting him. The sword is glowing white with radiant power. Uh, when the beam hits the sword, the beam is absorbed by the sword. However, Several beams, and I'm going to roll a d6, hit the king. Five beams hit the king. Uh, yeah, that's not great. So this, this times five, so 14, 19. Okay, so the king is, is looking a little bit wounded uh, at this present moment in time. Uh, as these black blocks sort of slam into me, he gets knocked back, he gets knocked back again. The sword starts to droop slightly as his energy is being drained from him. Then that goes to Dis, Lord Dis, who is over here. Lord Dis is just going to turn and is going to attack the cleric once again, swinging twice. Uh, that hits an armor class of 21. Oh, it meets it. Yeah, hits it. Yeah, hits, hits, it. hits it. That hits an armor class of 16. So just one hit. Just one hit. And that is this. Okay. Oh, minimum damage. Almost minimum damage. Uh, nine points of magical flashing. Okay. My uh, concentration is still up. Good. That is this. Then it is the broken remains of Lord Fam. And I'm going to say that their initiative swaps around. I mean, they're all going on the same initiative, so it's not, not an issue. 
Lord Fam is going to swing for you twice. Mm -hmm. So first attack is a Ooh. armor class of 29. Yeah, that hits. Second attack is 28. It beats it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no not that. <laughs> 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 like 28. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you're totally 28. Right. Massively <laughs> exceeds it, probably beats it. You have to re roll on the wild magic table if you want to find something. Oh, because I've been here? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Roll twice and choose the one you want. You take 31 points of slashing damage. And that's halved. 15. Yep. Yeah. Nice. And then you've got bonus hit points anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Almost happened. Learning how happened. to play a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you still have four ten hit eight hit points left. Yeah. You are healthier now than before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the battle started. <laughs> uh, that is him, and then he reappears. Yeah. Donk. And he is going to charge because he can. Uh, he's not removed for 10 rounds anymore. So he charges straight in and he is gonna go after the cleric. Mm -hmm. uh, he d doesn't he have to worry about spirit guardians? On well, the beginning of this turn. Is that in the beginning of this turn? Right. He wasn't in the beginning, now he charges in. First attack. Oh, uh, 24. Yep, hits. By which, the beginning of this turn, um, I mean, even his turn, he has to take that damage. Yes. Yes, if he was in the radius, right? But your radius is 30 feet? 30 feet. Oh, he was. So yep. he will take that damage. Yep. All right. So he hits you twice. You hit him with sh um, Spirit Guardian. Spirit Guardian. Well, if he fails, the Wisdom 16. Oh, yes. He does not. Okay. So he takes half. Yes. He takes eight points eight. of radiant damage. All right. In response to that, because he hit you twice, Thirty-six That's slashing together. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the, what are the separate instances? Roughly fifteen and eight, uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Well, and 18. no, I can tell you right now because this is uh, fourteen. This is nineteen. Nineteen. So it's one was a nineteen. Ten. So yeah. You said thirty-eight. Yeah. Thirty-eight Dimaggios. Yeah. Okay. And concentration. Fine. Yep. Nice. All good. Okay. Back to okay. top of the round. And. <laughs> Okay. I will gladly show any things of death. Doran. Doran. I will gladly take my temporary hit points back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like 19 again, please. <laughs> yeah. So Spirit Guardians is on their turn when they are in there, yeah? Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like right now. Beginning of their turn, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do a, a bonus action attack on this this bad boy here on Famine, uh -huh. which is going to miss. Whoop de daisy. And I have to <laughs> literally miss it. Yeah, okay. Keep back. Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm concentrating so I can just do a cantrip. So I'll cast uh, a, uh, I'm right in the middle of those guys, right? So I can hit both of them with a, is it Word of Radiance? Second uh, word, yeah, word of yeah, Radiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll cast yeah. Word of Radiance, con 16, please, on those two guys. Uh, so Pestos and Dis. So Pestos, 17, Dis. Uh, oh. Wisdom, right? Con. Con! Oh! Uh, 17, so that's fine. Okay. Right. So, yeah. unfortunate. That's okay. Yeah. Everybody. I'm going to use my 40 feet of movement to get as close to the king as possible. Right. Very good. And they don't attack. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one, sorry. Yes. Uh, 10, 20, 30 puts you just behind him. A 40. Oh! The king looks at you. We are nearly there. Just a few more steps. Absolutely, let's keep on. And I'm going to hold my action until I see him brandish his sword. All right, and then? And then? You will do things. I will do things. All yeah. right, I will stick with that just for the dramatic moment of it. Uh, Gottfried. I am going to stop fucking around and I'm gonna fireball some people. <laughs> so I want to try and catch these three guys. <laughs> you uh, can indeed, yes. I'm going to cast Fireball at 8th level. Ooh! <laughs> because, I mean, I, you know, 
Yeah, I've got a 50 level wizard. <laughs> 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 Might as well. So, so it's a dex save, uh, DC dex. 19. Yes, let's start with Warwick next to the stairs. Lord Warwick uh, fails. Uh, Lord Farm uh, has his advantage. So he rolled a natural one, so he that fails. Way. And Dis is also a bit. Nice. 13d6, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or should I say, 13d6, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Oh. It's nice. It's not bad. Well, it's a bit shit, but it's okay. Maybe it's good. I don't know. There's a lot of dice, a lot of reading. It's um, a journey. It's an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. it's like the shit Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> 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 uh, right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 48 points of fire damage. 48 points of fire damage. That lovely. is lovely. <coughs> How does Lord Fan die? 48. I like to think that he, his bones cook from the inside. So the marrow overheats, starts to melt through the bone. The bone starts to flake off. And he looks down as his own form starts to crumble. And as his skull falls into a pile of ash, yes. the last little lights start to go out staring at me. And I go, Bye bye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he dies. He dies. Nicely done. Nice. I think. Uh, I like that. Georgina turns around and gives you a big thumbs <laughs> up. Just like. Oh, thank you. Nice work. Thank you, Sean. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Fire is raging all around. Uh, Georgina. Okie dokie. So when I got hit before, I got to roll on uh, the wild magic again, and I summoned uh, something that Brendan has created called the Dog's Bollocks. The Dog's oh, Bollocks! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic! This is great. Um, I, so you, it was your character's deceased pest. I'm going to go for it. It's like a ram um, okay. yeah, from, yeah. from her, from she, her yeah, past, yeah, her favourite yeah. ram. Uh, and it is a spectral, intangible dog, um, and it explodes. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to put that right five feet yeah. Yeah, just between those two. And um, so they need to Dex. succeed on a dexterity saving throw Dexity. or take two lots of something so damage. 12 12 nice. force damage 12 force damage uh dexterity is 18 there. 18 that's failed that was for lord dis and lord pestos it fails as well oh 12 force damage 12 force no, it's damage. automatic it's just oh, it's automatic yeah, it's we, have to roll we decided not to roll nice. so it's based on proficiency bonus uh-huh very nice yeah, yeah. Very saves nice. the rolling i know you like oh roll. i got 19 uh, no but i'll time. take it if it's yeah. well yeah, <laughs> yeah lovely so that's just what my lovely little pet round did um lord, and lord dis uh that's this one here uh-huh with that explosion his whole rib cage crumbled and so he's just got a spine connecting his pelvis and his forward pelvis. Because he's a centaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do they have two pelvises? <laughs> Double pelvis. And then oh, Is there a veterinarian in the room? Yes, yes. No. Um, I would assume guess. double pelvis. Double pelvis? Could be. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. Well. Gotta be a few comments on that one on YouTube. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Who's seen All a right. centaur skeleton? Well, now that I can see a centaur skeleton, yes. uh, I am going to really try and whack in at those bones with my Brilliant. flail. Uh, that done hit. No. Uh, oh, I rolled the same again. Well, thank goodness for my ram. Um, yes. Some damage done. <laughs> some damage done. I'd like to, obviously, staying it because I'm in a combat with this, them, yeah. so I just want to kind of move around a little bit so that at some point That's I fine. might get closer to the king. Yeah. All right. King Theogard, he is racing up the stairs. That's his action. He's going to start moving. Are you doing something? Uh... How, how closely is he holding that sword? Well, it's in his one arm, but you can see the arm is badly damaged. There's been some mm. necrotic effects applied to the flesh. There is a vague aroma of onions. <laughs> as soon as he turns his back, then. He does. I'm oh going to God. cast heat metal on the sword. Oh, you sketchy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you cast Heat Metal. He has to make a constitution saving throw to keep hold of it, doesn't he? And I'm upcasting it significantly. 
I have caused it to level nine. The sword explodes as a small thermonuclear reaction and the sun is born. <laughs> Metal at level yes. nine. <laughs> Hasn't ever been seen before in the yeah, history yeah. of the The sword just Isn't that called fusion or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A new energy source for the planet. So does he have to make a constitution? So I believe. Oh. I think he does. Yes. Yes. Natural 20, oh, because he, he just told you to is fuck the king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He grits his teeth, he screams. Mm. The onions now are joined by the smell of fresh roasted bacon. Oh. Mm. <laughs> As his whole hand just starts Fuses to, to the blade. No, it basically does. Onion, though, yeah. He can still nice. hold it, he still takes the damage. He does, right? yes. Yeah. So deal your damage, That's King uh, Slayer. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Avery! It's very early for a stranger. It's like, hello, it's just first here. episode of the show. That's 28 damage. 28 damage. And he gets disadvantage if he tries to use it. Oh, 28. Uh, okay. He is gritting his teeth. He screams out, Lord Avery, this beast is using foul magic! <laughs> and he sort of steps forward, he has no idea it came mm. from you whatsoever. And so he is going to point his blade at Belkor Sung. He points the blade, this arc of white light shoots straight out, slams into Belkor Sung, and blows his whole one arm and side off in pieces. And this black ooze pours out of him. Any of you can make a perception check to see what's going on. Fourteen. Sixteen. Anyone get above an eighteen? Uh, no, 17. No, nope. all right. This black ooze kind of pours out of him. Uh, and that is what is happening there. And he does not look happy. He does not look happy. Just for reference, he just took 100 hit points. Oh, damn. Oh. Jesus. It is the sword that makes you go dead yeah. uh, when you point it at someone. But not the barbarian. But <laughs> no, 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 juicy no. hit points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so that is the king. Uh, Belkor Sung is heavily wounded, and so he is simply going to point at... <sighs> There's no point in pointing at the king, because the king's sword keeps deflecting everything, so he's going to go after someone. Uh, give me a perception check, please. <laughs> Oh, natural one. I'm sense. afraid I'm a little too yes. old for this. Because he shouts something at you. What was the could you repeat this, please? I can't. There's a lot going on yes. the fireballs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, the barbarian, actually, the two of you will hear what he's shouting. Um, he shouts out. Um, you're not sure why, maybe? But he says, Schopenhauer lost his book. Schopenhauer now is on a hook. And as he says that, this giant spike of bone shoots out <laughs> from underneath you, Gottfried. And I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw, please. I'm really good at those, honest. <laughs> <laughs> the octogenarian leaps up into the yep. air. I mean, hang on a moment. If you're not wearing a shirt and you have a white goatee, you will be a model, according to, <laughs> to various uh, sources. I, I'm just going to 13. Uh, 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, how do you feel about animas? About what? Animas. animas. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not my favorite thing. <laughs> but you're not a stranger to them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, in character, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> because of canonic allegations, I am from. Right, I'll take an anima. Oh, All right, you do. Back in a game, you get animus. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I'm going home. Man. Oh, you are so lucky. These are such low rolls. Thirteen, twenty, thirteen, twenty-seven. A measly twenty-eight points of 
And the Madame Piercing <laughs> Damage. Yes. That's a new, we have self it's, it's Dr. Jeremy Crawford man, <laughs> adding a new <laughs> yeah. Anima Damage now. Anima right. Damage, yes. Anima. Is that the damage the enemy does? Nope. No, no. <laughs> it's personal. <laughs> You're in. Uh, so Malcolm does that to you. That's then not very nice. it is Lord Warwick, who is now happy that that situation has been taken care of. And so he turns and he can now charge into the back of the Barbarian. Oh no! So Lord Warwick does that, he comes charging in, and that would be a 29 armor class. Oh, that's so that's it. And I'm just going to roll a second attack, and his second attack is even higher. Oh, so yeah. it's two of those, but these don't seem to do very much damage to you anyway. Um, so here we go, first attack. You don't need the damage in each attack, right? I can just give you the total. Yeah, you can just give me the total okay, and then I'll halve so. it. Nine plus ooh, thirteen, so that's twenty-two plus ten is thirty-two damage. Thirty-two, oh, sixteen. As he slices and dices, that's Lord Warwick. Lord Dis is facing off against the cleric. He is going to attack the cleric, but he has his wisdom sixteen. Wisdom sixteen. Succeeds. Fuck. Okay. And the oh, yep, yep, yep. And he attacks you. Twenty-three. Hits. 22. Both hit. Okay, do you want the damage separately? Yes, please. All Just right. hit over 20 each. Okay, sure. Uh, then they, no, they are. I can get there if yeah, I roll okay. like max damage. So the first one. Um, 11. Okay. Second one. Oh, 11 again. Yeah. yeah, fine. Okay. Concentration is still up. Lovely. Does he take half damage from your shield guardians? Uh, yes, if he fails. Spirit right? guardians. Yes, Spirit so that's 5 8 uh, He didn't fail, he passed. He passed, sorry. Yes. He passed. Yeah. So he would take half. One second. Okay. Spells. Spells. <laughs> Whilst you're finding that out, Lord Pestos is going to go and he's swinging for... Yeah, he's going to attack you, Cleric. He might as well. You're right there. So you guys are going to take uh, 16 points of damage. That Ooh. was massive. Eight, 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 five, and three. He's not looking good. Okay. It wasn't to begin with, but now he's looking terrible. Lord Pestos makes his saving throw against you, which he does. Okay. So he unfortunately, takes... then he attacks you twice. First attack, 28. Second attack, 26. So it's another two hits, I'm afraid. Learn. First attack, a 13. Second attack, uh, 16. Hmm. He's looking 31 hit points. And concentration still up. All right, all good.